Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. These days, extracting data from PDF files in JSON or a Markdown format has become quite popular. Since the release of tools like Docling or Market Down from Microsoft, there has been a lot of focus on these side of things. Interesting thing is that long before these tools were released and became popular, we had these tools like MinerU and various others which were doing the same thing. I already have covered MinerU on the channel, so if you just go to the channel, search it out, you will see that more than four months ago, I covered this tool. We got it installed locally and we saw how it worked. In this video though, I am going to revisit it and we will be installing it through GUI. I have just created a quick gradio interface on top of it because using it in CLI is bit cumbersome. So I think it would help if we, if we could use a GUI with it. Now this minor U tool was quite promising at that time and in the last four months it has improved a lot and its change log shows that from its GitHub repo. Minor U is a tool that converts PDF files into a machine readable format such as Markdown, JSON and few others. It also enables us for easy extraction into any format. What they did was they were doing pre-training of intern LM model and from there minor U was born. This tool is focusing on solving a symbol conversion issues in scientific literature and also it is hoping to become the go-to tool when it comes to data extraction with the help of LLMs. So let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs, so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. First up, let's create this virtual environment with Conda. Make sure that you create it with Python 3.10 as that is the one which is supported. Just press Y here. And then we can install this minor U with simple pip install command or magic PDF. And it installs a lot of things on our local system. So we just have to wait takes around four to five minutes. And by the way, it is compatible with both Mac and Linux and also Windows. It also supports OCR. It can also automatically detect scanned PDFs and garbled PDFs. And it can also convert tables in the document to HTML format or latex format. While it installs, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video. Agentbot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, let's go back and check it out. Almost there. Okay, so everything is installed. Let me take you to the code which I will show you where I have created a quick gradio interface on top of it courtesy uh, minor u so let me quickly open it in the vs code and i will show you the code and this is a code where i have created a simple gradio demo on top of this minor u which is simply taking the pdf file parsing it and then converting any images to base 64 or to markdown format and then from there it is just launching this logger and then creating a gradio interface on top of it and by the way i already have done various videos where i have walked you through step by step as how to create this gradio blocks and stuff anyway so this is the whole code so if i take you back to my terminal let me clear the screen 
and from here all we need to do is to run this command app.py and it is going to launch Gradio demo at our local host at port 7860 and first time when you run this it is going to download these models and this is a good thing you don't have to worry about the downloading the models and stuff by yourself so let's wait for it to get downloaded and now it is running on our local host at port 7860 so let me access it in the browser and there you go so minor u is running the pdf extraction demo and this is uh, really good of uh, minor u to share this thing they also provide some of the example documents but i'm going to use the documents from my local system so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to click here and then on my home directory i have some pdf files which i'm going to try out okay let me quickly move them to this folder so these are the few pdf files which i'm going to try out so maybe i'll just go with this acad academic paper with paper list first and this is a research paper which has a lot of stuff including you can see that lists and some uh, alphanumeric characters and then i'm just going to click on convert here and you can see that the rest of the lot is very very simple where you can select the layout yolo is fine language you can either select by yourself and there are a lot of languages which are supported and it is working at the moment let me quickly check out the vram consumption so it is consuming just around 1.7 gig of vram which is really really good stuff very lightweight and that was the case when i checked it out earlier four months ago so pretty good okay so let's wait for it to come back and you can see that it has generated this uh, markdown rendering here on the right hand side plus this is actual markdown text with all the symbols and stuff really good stuff also we have enabled the formula recognition you can even force enable ocr and then you can enable table recognition too okay and it is still in test it was also in test four months ago that is fine okay let's try out another one so for the next one what i'm going to do i'm just going to go with this magazine this is this has some images and stuff i'm just going to click on convert let's wait for it and there you go it has really done well here it has extracted the images and quality is there the markdown format also looks really really good very nice stuff okay so in the next one let's try out a chinese maybe so this is a chinese example and it's a scanned pdf so which makes it a bit harder for the tool so let's see what it does in this case and you can check out that there are a lot of languages supported like there is arabic korean uh, taiwanese english many european languages and the list goes on and on and on which is quite good okay and on the right hand side it seems it has done it sorry so if you're a chinese speaker please let us know at quick glance looks similar to me not bad at all but i would really leave it to our chinese viewer to confirm if this is the correct one okay let's try out one more example so i'm just going to go with this garbled formula so let's check it out and look at the results really really impressive this is not an easy one and i'm telling you after testing a lot of time and this has improved a lot lot in last four months four months is a long time in ai and look at the markdown very much usable programmatically really good stuff so look very happy with minor use all the improvements and stuff let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching